In this video, we're going to evaluate limits from graphs. Let's say for example 1, this is the graph of our function, and we're asked to get the limit of f of x as x approaches 3 from the right. So what we're trying to look here is as x okay, approaches 3 from the right hand side of the function, f of x get closer to which value? So in reference to our graph here, this would be x is equal to 3. The superscript here would tell us if we're getting the right hand side limit or the left hand side limit. So if it's positive, that would be the right hand side, and if it's negative, that would be the left hand side. So this is x is equal to 3. And if we trace our graph from the right side of 3, the y values get closer to 1. So the limit is equal to 1. Let's say we have the limit of f of x as x approaches 6 from the left. So this is x is equal to 6. The left hand side is this part. So if we trace the graph from the left side of 6 and getting closer to 6, the y values get closer to 4. Let's say we would like to have f of negative 2. So the idea is if we substitute negative 2 to our function, what is the value of y? In reference to our graph here, this would be negative 2. This is a shaded part and this would be unshaded. So between the two, f of negative 2 should be 1. Another example. The limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2. Since we don't have the superscript here, we have to consider the two-sided limits. So let us first get the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 from the left. So this is x is equal to negative 2. This would be the left-hand side of our function as x approaches negative 2. So the y values get closer to 1. And if we try to get the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 from the right, so as we trace the graph from the right side of negative 2, the y values get closer to negative 1 half. And since the left-hand side limit is not equal to the right-hand side limit, the limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 does not exist, or b and e. Okay, let's have another set. So let's consider this graph. As you can see, we have vertical asymptotes, we have gaps, we have holes. So let's have the limit of f of x as x approaches 4 from the right. So this is x is equal to 4. And in reference to this graph, the y value is 2. The limit of f of x as x approaches negative 2 from the left. So this is negative 2. This is the left-hand side. Since this is a vertical asymptote, the y values get larger and larger as it approaches negative 2. So the answer here is infinity. f of negative 1, again same as the earlier example, this would be 1. And the limit of f of x as x approaches 2. So this is x is equal to 2. Getting the left hand side limit, the y values get closer to 4. For the right hand side, the y values get closer to 0. The left hand side is not equal to the right hand side limit, then 
the limit does not exist.